welcome back to the show. Ladies and gentlemen, my guests tonight are actors who knew nothing about soccer and decided to buy one of the oldest professional soccer teams in the world. That story and the story of the team is told in their new documentary series, Welcome to Wrexham. Please welcome to The Late Show, Rob McElhaney and Ryan Reynolds. so much for being here. Nice to see you again. Well, it's wow. very nice to be here. Yes. Do, you, uh, do you guys remember you both been here uh, individually? Do you remember the last time you were here, Rob? Yes, I, I do. I, I remember I was here in February of 2020, mm. and it was just about a week before the entire world shut down. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's a fun story. <laughs> yeah, and uh, <laughs> now, coincidentally, uh, the second guest that night, yes. or the musical guest, yes. was James Taylor. Which is also the musical guest and, tonight. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, James Taylor's Jane musical guest yeah, tonight. So, so. yeah, oh, let's just yeah. knock on anything exactly. that we can. Yes. I hope there's not some sort of catastrophic world event. I, for one, loved homeschooling. <laughs> I loved homeschooling. Every second. Oh yeah, I bet you yeah, did. Wait. I bet you did. Ryan, you remember the last time you were here? Your buddy, your buddy, uh, 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 Deadpool stopped by. I, I did. Yeah, I was. I did a little Zoom with you uh, during the pandemic. But then, yeah, I had. I came on as Deadpool. Uh, yeah. I bombed the monologue uh, Stephen was doing. Yeah. Interrupted the monologue. I came out and I just uh, crushed it. One of, actually, one of the most, probably the most panicked I've ever been on a late night show was because I grabbed Stevens. I was reading the teleprompter, and look, boy, I'll tell you, we have a very different prescription. Uh, I grabbed his eyeglasses, and I put his glasses over the Deadpool mask, and it was like someone had vomited Vaseline into both of my eyes, <laughs> and then just turned the lights out. <laughs> yeah. yeah that's, I pretty that's... much just guessed the yeah. rest of the monologue. That's... Yeah. It's what it's like to be me. Right? Yeah. <laughs> All amazing. right, I gotta, I gotta, let's talk about this show. I, I, I love the idea of the show. I love the spirit of this show. Welcome to Wrexham. It's on FX and Hulu now. Yes, sir. Um, okay, your co-owners now, this is absolutely true. If I get anything wrong, I'm not making any of this up. Your co-owners of the Welsh soccer team, they call football, Wrexham AFC, the third oldest professional soccer team in the world. Rob, I understand this idea started with you. Oh. Is this true? Uh, How so true. and why? Uh, that is true. Um, well, over the pandemic, I'm a sports junkie. I, I'll watch a- any sport. Who's your uh, team? Philadelphia Eagles, Philadelphia Phillies, Philadelphia 76ers. Okay. Right. Right. Yeah. Um, and uh, I, I'm born and bred in Philadelphia, and uh, those, those clubs have just been a huge part of my life. Yeah. And uh, over the pandemic, I was searching for anything that I could find that had anything to do with live sports. Wait a second, some people learned how to bake sourdough bread, and you said, I want to own a sports team. Yes, well, bread won't bankrupt me. What else? (laughs) (laughs) How can can I be riddled with anxiety every weekend? Wow. Let's buy a football team. But how'd you get him roped in? Okay, so once I learned about this idea of relegation and promotion, which does not exist in American sports. What do you mean? Okay, so the idea is that if you lose enough in the league, you can get kicked out of the league and kicked to a league lower than the league you're in. It would be like the uh, the Yankees getting sent down to the minors. To the minors, right, for the entire season. Yes, everyone. and And if that next year they continued to lose, they would get kicked out of that league and they would be playing, you yeah, know, like beer, beer, beer league, league yeah. softball in Poughkeepsie. Yeah. So and what league is, is, is Wrexham? We're in the fifth tier. We have some, we we have some room to grow. Room? Yes. A lot of room to grow. We're growing fast, Stephen. Room in the toe. There's some room in the toe. Now, to give you some historical context, because this is what's so fascinating about it, and we just don't have anything like this in the U.S., the, the club um, that Ryan and I purchased is 25 years older than the Brooklyn Bridge. 
Yeah. Wow. So there's a lot of history, a wow. lot of generations of people um, that have the, fallen in love with the, this the, the, the stadium is the oldest international football stadium on earth. There are countless people have had their ashes spread across this field. Like this is, this wow. stadium is a church to so many folks in, in, in Wrexham. And it's just not a big town, right? How no, big is very Wrexham? small, very small. Uh, no, it's, a, it's, yeah, it's about 50,000. 50, yeah, 55,000 okay, people. That's pretty small. Rob, and Rob called me with this idea and I was just immediately taken. It was just so unexpected. I mean, I, I, <laughs> Ex explaining it to my wife was crazy. One of the craziest things I've ever had to explain. Mm -hmm. um, but I got, I, got, I got hooked. I got into it. And then I had, we had never met before we actually bought. Yeah. No, we didn't we yeah. didn't. Uh, what did you just text him and say? Did you no, want to no. buy a football No, it's so much club? worse. It goes by... I slid into his DM, Stephen. Yeah. Like some sort of creep. Well, you yeah. slid into I his. I slid into his DM saying, hey, I love your show. You do, you're great on your show. And the next thing I know, he texts me back and says, thanks, all that stuff. Then when he calls Ryan me Reynolds slides into your DMs, oh, God. you respond, right? Right. And so then I, 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 I checked out. <laughs> with a big ask for cash, I well, assume. I, well, I checked him out, right? So like, here's the thing. Rob is the creator, and he runs and stars in this show called uh, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Has anyone seen this show? <laughs> well, Beautifully wrong show. Yeah. A beautifully this, wrong this, show. This is how I knew I could work with this guy because this show is one of the oldest, show, longest running shows in the history of television. It started in 1906. Yep. I think. Yeah. At that time, was, Rob yeah. was. Around the Buchanan administration. Right. Yes, exactly. I think Rob at that time was paid in tuberculosis <laughs> every day. And it just kept on going. Now, here's the thing nobody in show business could run a show that well for that long if they were a dick. <laughs> he would have, if, if, I, if there was something wrong, he would have asked his way out of the business a decade ago. So I knew, I bet that guy's great. So I called around and everyone, of course, was like integrity, smart, innovative, interesting. Keep going. No, that was it. Uh, <laughs> there was, I was, the other well, things, was I, was silence, the other things I, I was thinking were just the awful <laughs> things, but it's, they don't need to okay, know Okay, so that. now, so you, 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 you buy the team. How does one go That's about nice. buying the team? Do you just call them and say, do you guys want to be bought? Or like, uh, is, there, is there a notice on Craigslist or something? How does one miss I, connections? I, how I, do you get a team? I Googled, how do you buy a sports franchise? Yeah. <laughs> For real. For real. We have to take a quick break, but stick around. We're right back with more Rob McElhaney and Ryan Reynolds, everybody. <laughs>